Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today's video is a mix between a talk and a tutorial focusing on updates, tooltips, and the menus related to uh, the presets. As we move into Blender 4.5, some new features of node groups are available, such as the expanded menu and the auto-hide socket options based on this menu. With that, the design of many of my presets is being updated. The downside is that these new socket options won't be preserved in older files. So they may break projects that rely on linked assets. The upside is that uh, the new designs are cleaner. Many nodes are smaller, more readable, and allow for additional functionality. Most of the functionalities haven't been changed, only the UI has. Alongside these presets updates, I've also updated the, the test file. The test file isn't new. It's existed since I firstly started building these presets. Its original purpose was to help build the test and verify that each preset work as intended. As a side effect, it can also function as a demonstration file. If you downloaded the presets from Gumroad, the file you received is the test file. However, I recommend using the extension instead, and the extension automatically provides the correct preset file for your Blender version, and it keeps your presets up to date to avoid the version related bugs. If you've installed the extension properly following the installation guide, the easiest way to access the test file is by going to the preference, finding my extension, and clicking the open folder of presets file. If the preset is already downloaded, this will take you directly to the test file on your system. Inside of this file, you will find various objects that hold the node tree, along with the collections used for specific tests or demonstration. I usually just work with the object in the first collection and switch between different demo node tree to test and build the presets. Each test node tree is labeled starting with Z, followed by a letter and a number. When the letter changes, like from ZB to ZC, that usually indicates a major version change from like Blender 3.6 to 4.0 or something like that. This helps to separate the preset groups by Blender version. Many of these test node tree have now been updated with menus and comments organized using frames. For example, in this fourth test node tree, you can scroll through different menu options to see how the result changes in the viewport. By playing with the settings, you should quickly get a feel for how uh, these several presets work and their options and so on and so forth. Some specific tests require unique objects or modifier setups. In those cases, they are stored in a dedicated collection with all the necessary testing resources. For example, the UV deformer requires a knit curve object to test whether the knitting pattern can be successfully transferred from a plane to a targeted geometry through UV map sampling. Although the test file might not explain everything, for users looking to understand the presets beyond regular case study tutorials, I hope it serves as a valuable reference. In addition to the test file, I've started adding tooltips to the parameters. It's a Blender feature that if you hover over a parameter, for maybe a few seconds, you will see a shorter description to it. I've done the same for many of my presets now. This lightweight documentation should make the presets easier to understand without needing a full menu. It's also easier for me to maintain. Tooltips aren't available for every node and the parameters yet, but they cover the most important and the potentially confusing ones, in my opinion. I will continue expanding this coverage over time. Finally, although it's not something I officially encourage uh, 
or recommend investigating. I've also added the framed comments inside the internal node setup of many presets. These are mainly for my own use to help me remember the purpose of certain functions. So the language is casual and filled with shorthand. However, if you are interested in, in reverse engineering how these presets are being built, these comments might still be helpful. So that wraps up what I wanted to share today. In the future, I plan to use the, uh, the test file more often to demonstrate how to use these presets. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.